Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Eco Brap Racing. This weekend we're actually running Thunder Hill Raceway backwards, which is really cool. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I haven't done it in about four or five years. I've only done it once. It's actually already Sunday. I just didn't have time to catch up with uh, events on Saturday. But basically, as a recap, Saturday morning, I decide to go out for a warm-up because I have no idea where I'm going and I figure it's probably better to use the extra two or three gallons as opposed to potentially wreck the car. So I go out and before I even get to the grid, the fuel line busts, which is not very eco wrap yes I know, uh, but basically about a quarter gallon fell out, something like that, and we just had to hose it down with water. So unfortunate start to the day. Uh, but we fixed it up and then we were ready for qualifying. Because I didn't get any practice, I had no idea where I was going, I decided to follow Justin for a little bit. And sure enough, in turn one, Justin goes flying off the track on his own, so I'm left by myself to figure out the track. Uh, unfortunately, a little later on the first lap, I got hit pretty hard from behind, just an honest mistake from a driver two, two cars behind. So uh, we fixed the car up and then we were ready for race one. We qualified sixth somehow, but we had no idea where we are going. So I was pretty confident that we were gonna do well in the race. And sure enough, we worked our way up from sixth place to second place. white flag lap. I've got second place pretty much on lockdown here, uh, but uh, user error, I do the same thing that Justin did earlier in the day and I go flying off the track um, and then I drop back to fifth place. Fifth place in race one, I'm happy with that, but there is a concern. We are getting towards the end of our tire life cycle here. My right rear tire is looking particularly bald and I can definitely feel it on the track. So I am at the point now where I'm starting to lose speed. And I kind of knew that coming in this weekend that my tires were potentially gonna go off because it's 103 degrees here. Uh, the tires are gonna have a hard time. The tires currently have 12 heat cycles on them. So, you know, considering your average race tire pushing it really hard, that's lasted a really long competitive life. So unfortunately the tires are shot after further inspection. We're gonna change them out to our new set finally. So this is our first new set of tires all year. Not super excited about using them in this crazy temperature, but uh, we don't have many races left in the year. So I will for sure be able to get through the season with only two sets of tires, which is awesome. Uh, so we're gonna throw a new set on and I think we'll have our grip back for race number two.
Race two was great. We uh, put the new tires on, and it's only our second set of the year. We're still on our original brake pads, believe it or not, and we had a great race. Uh, we started, I think, fifth and ended third, so that was great. We're going to start third for the final race. We're going to push really hard, see if we can go a little bit higher. Race three went great. We uh, managed to kind of stick with the leader, although it was just a bit of lead fall the whole way. Came pretty close on the last lap, but it wasn't enough. But second place, we'll take it. Really happy with that. Uh, that being said, we've loaded everything up. We got everything back in the trailer, and we're gonna start our tow back. So if you guys have never seen what we're doing on the towing front, we're getting some pretty crazy fuel mileage, so make sure to check it out. But anyways, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you guys next time.